Robert Chase, or also Bob Townsend, who lived from July 30, 1920 until January 12, 1998, was an American business executive and author who is noted for transforming Avis into a rental car giant. In this video, I'll explain his revolutionary leadership secrets. So please watch it until the end. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. In these videos on this channel, I am sharing my more than 25 years of experience in entrepreneurship, management, and leadership with you, late stage and growing entrepreneurs. And this video is about Bob Townsend and what we can learn from them, from him. Now you know that uh, I always hang around also virtually with great leaders and the other day I stumbled over a TED talk where Bob Townsend, the ex-CEO of Avis in the 1960s, he actually was there only for three years between 1962 and 95, he was the central topic of a guy who talked about them. I liked this video so much that I shared it on LinkedIn and I got an immediate reaction from a young entrepreneur uh, her name is Arabella and Arabella said oh wow I mean this is so great I immediately put this on my page I'm so inspired so then I said listen <laughs> if she is so inspired I was inspired too let's make a video about it and now here is uh, the leadership uh, secrets from here are the leadership uh, secrets from Bob Townsend and um, first of all let me just introduce who he was in 1962 Lazar Frere bought Avis, a struggling auto rental company that had never really made a profit in existence, uh, in, his, in, exist in its existence, excuse me. And Townsend actually took over in 1962 until 1965, as I said before, just three years there when, he, when, he, when he demised. And he turned Avis into a highly profitable company. How was that? Actually, he believed in his company, he believed in theory why. For all of you who don't know what Theory Y is, well, there's Theory Y and X from a management guru called Douglas McGregor. He was at MIT and he said, well, there are actually two three theories of leadership. One is Theory X, where you say people need to be controlled and people actually don't want to work. You really have to, you know, uh, almost oppress them and control them all the time. And a theory why, where you say, listen, um, give people a task, trust them, and they will deliver the results you need. So um, Townsend was, uh, an, uh, in favor of, was in favor of theory why. And from his success as an entrepreneurial leader in Avis, we can actually learn three things. So here is Townsend's leadership rule number one, get out of their way. Getting out of people's way means no micromanagement, not calling them every day and asking them what the status is. I used to do it in, in, when I was the, the managing director of a subsidiary of an American company in, in Germany. And as the pressure was so high, I was also getting in the way of my people, sending them emails all the time. That obviously got on their nerves and it was horrible for me and for the people. So. Uh, I would also recommend not to do that, to set a goal and empower the people to trust them and help them, support them obviously, uh, ask if they need help and also allow them to make mistakes so that they can learn. And um, you know that actually means, uh, Townsend put it this way, to replace administration with leadership. You know, set the goal, empower the people, support them on their way to that goal but basically leave them alone don't get in their way leadership rule number one from bob townsend townsend's leadership rule number two is stay connected so what does that mean you should be available day and night really for your people you should be interested without close control i can only recommend that's what i used to do i was really i've always really been interested in my people my team i asked them even about you know family conditions etc and people really appreciate that i mean it must be real interest interest you know not nosiness if you are nosy people will 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 understand that immediately it's about real interest and caring and and, and giving support and you should also stay connected 
and to, to share your vision with them and you know um, make sure that we are all in line with it. And here is Townsend's leadership rule number three. You know, after staying connected, you also forget pressure. Forget pressure, give them time to finish their tasks. Pressure will lead to mistakes. It can also lead to procrastination. I, that means they kind of get paralyzed and they don't get enough done because there's so much pressure or they might even get nothing done. So please forget pressure. That is what Bob Townsend would probably say if he was still with us. And at least that is my third takeaway from Bob Townsend's approach to leadership. Now, the first thing is get on their way, uh, get, get on their way. The first, the, the first thing that you should do according to Bob Downs and leadership rule number one, get out of their way. Number two, stay connected. And number three, forget pressure. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. We all have pressure and we need to also share the pressure with our teams. But it does not mean that we just, you know, delegate the pressure so that we have no pressure anymore or that we start blaming our teams if something goes wrong. That's totally and utterly unacceptable. So follow these rules that Townsend taught us. I was happy to share this with you. The LIFE program actually teaches you these and many, many more method, tips, tricks and tools of great managers and great management and leadership for entrepreneurs. If you like this content, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share it if you like it so that many, many more entrepreneurs can actually benefit from these lessons. My name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.